Hey, Internet! It's Color Forty, and welcome back to Balloonorama! So, we are on level 101 today. When I was a kid, I was sure this was the last level, but no, it's not. It is, however, the next world. The UFO. I can't wait, Pep! <laughs> so, yeah. We had the outer space bonus levels, but we're in the UFO as actual world. That made no sense at all. But yeah, for some reason, Papa like launched all the balloons in the air at the beginning of the game. Oh man. Yeah, at the very at the very beginning of the game, Papa lets all the balloons go, which means a huge portion of them have floated into outer space and then got sucked up by this UFO. That doesn't make sense at all. Also, this level is incredibly difficult. Because we've got bumpers, and we've got paint buckets that are blocking the way. And getting past them is extremely difficult. Woo! There we go. Now, if we can just get one of those paint buckets down, the whole level will be much easier. Darn it. Come on. Excellent. That should make the rest of the level easier. It's still difficult, but it's at least doable now. Whew. Rubber band, rubber band. Well, that lasted long. I hope Pep hits the bumpers after getting that balloon. Oh well. Darn it. Very outer spacey. Once again, this level is not always what it seems. Of course, they had to start spamming clams everywhere. This must be the work of the heinous Lemmings guy, Clam Spammer. Nah, just kidding. This is one of those levels where the balloons just never really stop spawning. They do, but it, there's like three or four spawns. Get rid of the monkeys. If only we had the magnet boots at the beginning of the level. Then we could have gotten rid of the pink bucket before they started appearing. Maybe. I apologize if this Let's Play is getting boring. Now we're almost uh, at the end. Darn it! Pot Pot, you need to become better at catching Pep. Literally 90% of the times I have like lost Pep, it has been because Pep refused to catch him. Darn it. I was so hoping I could beat it before the clams appeared. Very ominous space music for this world, I love it.
Why did it have to be clams to begin with? Why couldn't it have just been a singular balloon? Stupid monkeys. Nobody likes monkeys. Unless, uh, of course, you're a fan of Donkey Kong Country. But this is not the Cartoon Zoo anymore. This is definitely not the Cartoon Zoo. This is definitely the world where you need to start doing the bounding leap. Like, before now, you could get by without using it. Not really so much here. Alright, just two or three more balloons. Yes, last monkey did not spawn. Thank goodness. Oh boy, more bumper fun. And more balloonception. Come on, please go in the bumpers. Pep. There we go. Well, we went in there for like a second. Bounding leap! Nope. Ah, so close. Be it? No. Oh, this looks promising. Nope. There we go. The last. No, not over here again. Not in the valley of the shadow of death. Alright, we should probably pop the stuff in the middle first. Well, pop out refused. Come on! Reach for the sky. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Oh no, not over here. There we go. I meant to do that. Yeah, this this world demands so much precision when launching Pep. Like, when he's flying at an incredibly steep angle, you have to make him just go straight up, which is not really possible. So simply put, you will most likely never leave this world unless you're really, really dedicated to beating the game. Yes! Three levels down, that's it. Because they just love spamming the bumpers. At least there were no regenerating balloons on that level. Let's get the candy! I don't want the candy to drop on the ground. Extra life, pep, of course. Ooh, 
so close. Just a little bit to the left. Just like that. Well, that level was way easier than the last three. Oh, no. Spinners and paint buckets. And bumpers. That is, like, the nastiest combination. Alright. Yes! Spinner, stop making my life difficult. Ooh, this looks promising. Nope. I will gladly take in a piece of garbage if it means a better tomorrow. Oop. Oh no. Not on this level, please. Not when I have one life. I would like to go to the bonus level, please. Nope. Pretty please? Oh well. This is gonna be a long enough episode as is. Three monkeys. And the monkey's friend. Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Do no evil. Four monkeys. Uh, how many game overs is that, I wonder? Too many! Probably we're at the point where I should have turned on the junior helper. But no, I will not turn on the junior helper. I am not a junior! Sometimes you just don't know how Pep's gonna ricochet. And in the case of him ricocheting unpredictably at a bottom balloon, you're just in trouble. Bro, come on. Boom, boom, boom. Stupid spinners, stop doing everything to work against me. <laughs> like, it, no matter where I hit it from, it, like, knocks me away. There we go. About time that happened. <laughs> they just love launching Pep to the right. Woo, get excited, putt putt. These are what I refer to as the definitive spinner color. Because that's the color they are in the level editor. Oh, so close to two confettis. That's fine. I will happily accept one confetti. Oh, well, that was just plain evil. <laughs> Not evil, sadistic. This is one of those levels where it's like, if you take a long time beating it, and you will because of, well, the freaking spinners, then you get a lot of extra work to do. 
But man, just like sometimes the spinners refuse to work with you. Booyah! I really have no idea how the spinner mechanics work, so I just launch Pep into the spinner and hope for the best. There we go! Here we go, Pep. Three levels left in the UFO. There gets to a point where the game's just not fun anymore if you keep putting the spinners and bumpers in the game. But at least the colors are pretty. I also wonder if you do if doing the bounding leap affects Wow, that worked out really well. As I was saying, I, I'm wondering if the bounding leap affects the spinner mechanics. Or if it behaves exactly the same regardless of how you throw pep. A lot of confetti on this level, I am liking that. Get out of here, Marvin. I have hereby dubbed the smiley face balloons that are purple, Marvin. Just roll with it. Come on, designers. The, the, the game is long enough. You don't really need to make the bubbles longer. I'm guessing this is why a lot of people... Uh, <laughs> have not played or beaten this game. It's still a fun one, though. And I mean, look at those artistic backgrounds. Okay, getting in the middle is going to be nearly impossible. Because it's surrounded by spinners and bumpers, so you have to throw them in the spinners. And they just keep launching Pep away. There we go. Of course, there's also the balloons blocking the middle. Stupid spinners. Man, the spinners just are like, you're not going up the middle. Yeah, this is where the game gets incredibly long, difficult, and boring. I knew there was a reason as a kid I stopped at level 101. Because that's when the game just stopped being fun. Pep, please, please go for the spinners. You need to do it like 20 times, so you might as well start. How dare you? Physics. Maybe I'll just fast forward this episode. Regenerating balloons should not happen in the middle. That's all I'm gonna say. I 
I seriously want to know if there is rhyme or reason to those spinners' momentum. Because as far as I can tell, it is completely random chance. And I am having awful luck. Pep? Pep? Oh my freaking gosh! Will the spinners please just launch me in the middle? Not that far in the middle. Puppet's smile has got to be killing him by now. He's been smiling non-stop for like 10 minutes. Oh. Oh, please. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. No. That was a bad spinner. That was very bad. I don't care if it's candy balloons. Stop spotting them. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Pop it. Pop the balloon. I'm begging you. Nope. You're gonna torment me a little longer. Of course. Seriously, has this been like 10 minutes on this level alone? Come on, Pep, please just pop that freaking balloon. Thank you so much. And now watch as the spinners refuse to let him down. Oh, there we go. Level over at last. And we still have two levels to go. Possibly three if we get the bonus level. Come on. The amazing materializing garbage. So it goes garbage, beach ball, clam. That makes no sense, but I will go with it. Because this is nowhere near as evil as the last level. And look at the confetti. <laughs> okay, at that point there was so much stuff on the screen, the game actually started lagging, which I didn't think it was really possible for humongous entertainment games to lag. Throwing off on the screen, and I guess it is. I should probably get the other paint bucket out of the way. By the way, what company makes clam balloons? I would love to know. It's always sad when you get the sun, but not the confetti. I can't tell if that- oh, that's bucket is orange, okay. That might be the first time we've seen an orange bucket. I swear, I am going to fast forward some of this episode. Because <laughs> best case scenario, this has been going for like 20 minutes. Nobody wants to watch 20 minutes of me trying to pop balloons. Alright, come on, Pep. Just the garbage balloon. You can do this. You're gonna have to do it a little better than that, though. Pep, come on. Thank goodness. Last UFO level. Uh, yuck. That's really all I can say. Yuck. Well, I guess I'm yellow now. Okay, Pep is definitely getting a concussion on this level. 
Or just a flat out game over. Did the, did the game designers just not test these levels out at all? Because some of these are really badly designed. If Pep is moving at all, you will never get him up one of those uh, gaps between the buckets. Just never. It's not going to happen. And they're so close to the ground, it's very hard to keep him even in your chassis. Wow. Double wow. What's the question mark? Stretch him on pop -Bot. Okay, pop getting tired of getting painted. Papa was kind of digging the purple. Nope. And I lost my limousine. Darn it. Well, at least I'm purple. Purple is a color. And no bonus levels today. That is fine, though. We finally finished the UFO levels. Only one world left with ten levels. And that's where we're going to leave the episode off for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. And as always, hope to see you for the next video. Have a great day, and God bless.